Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to class number 100. Yes, class number 100. I've been saying, well, I said it at the beginning of the beginner class, and I'm saying it now, 100, yes. And I'll say it again at the beginning of the advanced portion of the show that, you know, we have to, we have to acknowledge here that we've come a long way, 100 classes. It's very special. It's a good, it's a great moment, a nice little milestone, okay? But we can't stop to party here because we have to keep moving forward. We still have 95 more classes, right? So, a lot to do, a lot of material to get through. And it all starts right now, well, it's, it, it, it continues, I should say, with a review of the last class, which was class number 99. And in class number 99, we were talking about the T-U sound. Chew. Chew. Now, chew or chew. Portugal. We don't say Portugal. We say Portugal. Portugal. Chew. Just like I'm chewing gum. Portugal. Have you ever chewed gum in Portugal? I have. I've only been to Portugal once, and I did. I chewed gum. If you asked me what I was doing, I would say, hey, I'm chewing gum in Portugal. 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 Chew, chew. Question. Okay? I'd like you to repeat with me to practice the pronunciation of these sounds. Pronunciation. What? Yes, that's right. I want to pay attention to the pronunciation of the sound here, the T-U sound, Portugal. So repeat. Portugal. Very good. Picture. Picture. Mixture. 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 Expenditure. 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 Statue. Statue. Chew. Statue. Legislature. Legislature. Very good. So practice, right? Repeat. Legislature. Statue. Like the Statue of Liberty. Is the Statue of Liberty in New York or Chicago? The Statue of Liberty is in New York. Yes, the Statue of Liberty. Okay? No problem? Mature. Mature. Mixture. Mixture. Okay, good. There are many of these words. You can think of a lot of these yourself, I'm sure. Words with the T-U sound. Practice them and pay attention to your pronunciation. Make sure that you're, you're creating that chew sound, not two. Okay? Very good. Translation. All right, yes, it is time now for a little bit of translation. Continuing now with translation list number 28, which we saw on the program yesterday. So this is a review. This is a review of translation list number 28. So I'm going to read the Spanish, and I'd like you to repeat out loud at home. Okay? ¿Quién va a ganar la carrera? Who's going to win the race? Who's going to win the race? Number two. Le vi en medio de la multitud. I saw him in the middle of the crowd. I saw him in the middle of the crowd. Very good. Number three. Esto mata insectos en menos de cinco segundos. This kills insects in less than five seconds. Wow. In less than five seconds. 
Number four. El efecto dura tres meses. The effect lasts for three months. The effect lasts for three months. Number five. Déjame ver tu informe. Let me see your report. Let me see your report. Number six. Tienes suerte de tener un jefe como ella. Tienes suerte de tener un jefe como ella. She's very nice. She's a very nice boss. Therefore, you're lucky. Tienes suerte. You're lucky. You are lucky. We do not say you have luck. No, no, no. You are lucky. To be lucky. You're lucky to have a boss like her. You're lucky to have a boss like her. Yes. You're lucky to have a boss like her. So, to be lucky. Are you a lucky person? I think I'm a lucky person. We often use luck. We, 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 we often say oh, he's lucky when really we mean he's, he or she is fortunate. You know? And we, because there's an idea, we can, we can use the term luck to refer to la suerte in the sense of the lottery. He, he won the lottery twice. He's very lucky. But we can also say, I am lucky to live in a country like this, where we have freedom and opportunities. I'm lucky. We're lucky to be here. We're lucky. I'm lucky to have my health. I'm fortunate. Really, we should say. But we can say, we can use luck in that sense as well. And it's very, very common. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to be healthy, for example. Okay? So, number seven... Cada vez que voy allí, me piden el pasaporte. Every time I go there, they ask me for my passport. Every time I go there, they ask me for my passport. Number eight. ¿Has leído todo estos libros? Have you read all these books? Have you read all these books? Number nine. ¿Por qué llueve tanto aquí? Why does it rain so much here? Why does it rain so much here? Number ten. ¿Quién escribió esta carta? Who wrote this letter? Who wrote this letter? Number 11. Todavía estoy esperando una respuesta. I'm still waiting for an answer. I'm still waiting for an answer. Now, notice I say answer, not ants were. No, no, answer. I'm still waiting for an answer. Number 12. Dame el azul, no el verde. Give me the blue one, not the green one, okay? Give me the blue one, not the green one. Word of the day. Yes, it is time for our word of the day. The word of the day today is a verb. Oh, yes, it's the verb to snore. Roncar, to snore. It's good to know these sorts of verbs, right? This is a verb that maybe you don't hear every day. But it is common enough that you should know it to snore. And it is a regular verb. Yesterday I snored. Well, last night I snored. Lately I have snored a lot. To snore. Now, notice I'm not saying a snore. No, no. To snore. To snore. All right. It is now time to practice with the word yet. Yet. Yet is a word that we use in questions and in negatives, okay? This is the adverb that can translate as todavía or aún, depending on the context, okay? So we're using this in questions here. 
Have we finished yet? Now, I'd like you to give me a negative answer. Have we finished yet? No, we haven't finished yet. No, we haven't finished yet. Okay? Because if the answer were affirmative, we would say, yes, we have already finis- finished. We have already finished. Now, have I finished the show yet? No. No, Kyle, you haven't finished the show yet. Is it midnight yet? No, it isn't midnight yet. So we're using yet because the show is still continuing. It hasn't finished yet because it will finish in the future. Okay? It hasn't finished yet. I can say now I have not had dinner yet. Am I having dinner now? No, I'm not having dinner. Have I had it yet? No, I haven't had it yet. I have already had breakfast. So already means the action was complete. Well, it is now. It is complete. I completed it in the past. I have already had breakfast, but I haven't had dinner yet. Okay? Am I retired yet? No, you aren't retired yet. Have you driven to France yet? No, I haven't driven to France yet. Have the Rolling Stones retired yet? No, the Rolling Stones haven't retired yet. Is it the end of the week yet? No, it's not the end of the week yet. Well... More or less. Almost, but it's not quite the end of the week yet. Are you ready for dinner yet? No, I'm not ready for dinner yet. Have Have we reviewed the vocabulary of the day yet? No, Kyle, no, we haven't reviewed the vocabulary of the day yet. Okay, good. Well, I think it's time to do it. Let's take a look at the vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word, undir. The verb, undir, to sink. To sink. Yes. Debajo de. Underneath. Underneath. My feet are underneath the table. Adecuadamente. Adequately. Adequately, we say adequately. Manta, manta. Blanket, blanket. Presupuesto. Presupuesto is budget. Budget, D-G, B-U-D-G-E-T. B-U-D-G-E-T, budget, budget. The D-G sound, kind of the letters form one sound, j, j, budget, budget. Okay, there we, ha- there we have our five words of vocabulary. It is time to move on because we only have about three minutes. But don't worry because the class is not over yet. We have already seen the word yet, but I haven't finished talking about it yet. We have already started talking about it, but we haven't finished talking about it yet. We have already answered questions with yet, but we haven't formed the questions yet. We haven't practiced the interrogative with this form yet. So, here we are, practicing with the word yet. And here, we're going to try this using the structure of one of my my favorite exercises, which is where I give you the answer to a question, and you ask me the question that I have already answered. Okay? So I say, no, I haven't met him yet. And you can say, have you met him yet? Okay? No, I haven't met him yet. Have you met him yet? So here, no, I haven't driven there yet. Have you driven there yet? 
Okay, so ask me the question out loud. Have you driven there yet? Notice we're using the present perfect. Okay, we can use logically here. We, we're talking about an action that started in the past and goes up to the present inclusive. Or a, well, a period of time, I must say. Not necessarily the action, but a period of time that started in the past and goes up to the present inclusive with this idea, therefore, we would, this requires present perfect, the present perfect tense, okay? The only, well, you, we, we can use the simple, or we can use the present simple, I should say. If we have the verb to be, we could say, remember I said, is it the end of the week yet? Is it the end of the week yet? No, it isn't, okay? But have you learned to play the guitar yet? There we need present perfect because the period of time is your life, essentially. So far in my life, I have not learned to play the guitar. I haven't learned to play the guitar yet. Okay, so no, I haven't seen the boss yet. And the question, have you seen the boss yet? Okay, no, I haven't prepared dinner yet. Have you prepared dinner yet? No, I haven't called my brother yet. Have you called your brother yet? No, I haven't asked for help yet. Have you asked for help yet? Very good. No, they haven't found the solution yet. Have they found the solution yet? No, she hasn't ordered the pizza yet. Has she ordered the pizza yet? Okay, very good. Well done. We are out of time, ladies and gentlemen. I want to stop. The show has finished. The segment has finished because I have to go to a break. And then I'll be back in a few minutes with the advanced portion of the class. But don't worry because we will review this subject. I'm not finished talking about this subject yet. Right? I'm not finished yet because we will come back and we will review it tomorrow. Well, in the next class, I should say. Okay? See you then. Bye-bye.